Could you comment on recent articles in the media that the middle class has either disappeared or is at least declining, and what that means to the U.S. economy? Well, it's uh, highly abnormal for middle class either not to be expanding in this country in terms of numbers as people work their way up, especially if you're an immigrant, you come with nothing. With a generation, you're, you're, you're really uh, starting to get into it, and your kids even more. And, uh, or, or moving up to upper middle class. So this gets to that boring subject I brought up earlier. When you start trashing money, who is hurt the most? Wage earners, because you have least protection in terms of uh, the, the ravages of what the Fed does. And so it's no coincidence. You had the same phenomenon in the 70s and early 80s before we made reforms. Uh, people felt they weren't able to get ahead anymore. I remember hearing back then Oh, well, our kids will not have this, you know, rising standard of living that we enjoyed. Now we're hearing that, I hear that same vocabulary again today. Uh, when you undermine a currency, you hurt people's ability to get ahead. And uh, so that's the abnormal. They call it new normal, but it is abnormal. So get the money right. Get the money right so you can trust it again. Stable value, like 60 minutes in an hour. And a few of these other things going. That'll reverse itself very quickly. People want to trade with one another. People, a lot of entrepreneurial activity, and just to end on a little nice note on that, in terms of entrepreneurial activity, several months ago we did a cover story in Forbes and uh, amplified it online on uh, kids in college running businesses that have revenues between $100,000 and $500,000 a year. It was moderated by Michael Dell. And uh, so there is this entrepreneurial energy, especially in this uh, high-tech age. Uh, people are accustomed to being uh, masters or mistresses of their own uh, fate, or like to be, if you have the right environment. And by the way, I shouldn't say this because we all love education, uh, but Michael Dell, when he was in college, he did not want to go to college. His parents forced him. And in his freshman year, uh, when he got to University of Texas, he just went and started selling computers, making them and selling them. And one day, the story goes, his parents called and said, we're going to visit you, Michael. Now, normally for a kid, that means they're either getting the boyfriend or girlfriend out of the room, uh, doing three months' worth of laundry, uh, getting a fumigator in and things like that. Uh, with, with, with the case of Michael Dell, the story goes, uh, it was trying to find a place to hide his computer inventory that he kept in his room. And so uh, he found a place to hide it. His parents come and look around and say, Michael, something's not right here. And he says, what? The parents said, there are no textbooks. Dell said, oh gosh, I forgot to buy them. <laughs> so, uh...